So over 30 films, it was about time to bring Godzilla to a route where he's never been before, anime. This is Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. In the last summer of the 20th century, Godzilla reigns across the world and thus humanity has to flee into space with the help of two alien races known as the Exif and the Biu Saludo. Over 11.9 light years, humanity has suffered with the lack of food and water and most have died while trying to look for a new planet. Seeing that there is no hope, they decide to go back to Earth and see if Godzilla is gone, only to find that he is still there and 20,000 years have passed. Instead of fleeing, our main character, Haru Sakaki, decides to fight back against Godzilla and so it becomes a war between humans and Godzilla. On the bright side, I really like the animation in this film. Most of the characters are drawn like anime, but are three-dimensional, which is rarely seen today. But then there's the bad parts of this film. This film is so boring. In the first 50 minutes, it's just exposition which makes it hard to get invested into the story. After that, something interesting finally happens, but just makes you wish that's what the entire film should have been. The narrative of this film can be best described as humans versus monster. Rowan knows that humans just see fleeing as the only resolution, but that isn't what they should be doing and they should fight back. Too bad that in the final minutes of the film where, spoilers, after Godzilla um, is defeated, another one appears even bigger than the last one, or bigger than any Godzilla before it, starts attacking, and that just defeats an area that this film was trying to convey. My final rating, 3 out of 5 stars. The trilogy continues next time in Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle.